I'm going to talk about is the Sparrow 200. Um, it's another descent control device uh, that we are looking at, similar to a Petzl ID. And if you look at the two of them, you can see some uh, similarities. We have a quick open gate on both of them, and the, the cam system is very similar. You'll notice on a Sparrow, it does not have the uh, reverse rigging um, fail safe, but other than that, they have some uh, very similar design features. And as you can see in the, the store position, you have to open it up, fully open to get the rope inside. Now the difference with this device is the fact that, like the Petzl ID, uh, you use the handle to control your descent. It's still a whistle stop device, so if you let go of everything, it will stop and lock up. The main difference with this system is that it doesn't have the clutch mechanism that a Petzl ID has. So if I go into full panic mode and lock this wide open, what it actually does is it will actually pinch the rope and slow it down to a creep, almost to a stop, until you get your wits about you and let back off on that cam. Also on this uh, design, there's a, a, an extra load horn, so you can actually run the rope through the extra load when you're using a two-person load. Uh, this just creates more friction in the system, the rope will run through that. On the back, same as other devices, has all your information on what the uh, device is rated for what type of rope it's rated for. This one's for 11 millimeter only. So now we're gonna hand this over to Dave. He's gonna rig it up, show us how uh, it goes into his OS system. Okay, so again, very similar to the Petzl ID. Um, think of this loop as the attachment point to your, uh, to your object, which will this time be the rescuer, right? Open up the faceplate. And so same as the design, the knot is gonna go from him here, wrapped around back to the braking. Close it up, it's locked in place, put it in the lock position, Dave can test his weight on the system, he's happy. I have control, again that S-curve as the rope runs down through the cam, I'm pulling back pressure, keeping that simple S-curve design uh, that's required in almost all descent devices. As I pull back, he's just going to go out as he needs to, I can control how fast or slow he goes. <laughs> 